people are so ready to serve you or help you in like any way or give you things. Like there was one day, it was insane, but like it was, me and my companion called it free day and everyone just like gave us stuff like all day. I don't know if it was like a holiday or something, but like we left the house with like just our normal stuff in our backpacks and at the end of the day, we had like six cobs of corn. We had like a, a shirt. We had like all these different little things that people had given us, like a, a lettuce, a head of lettuce. Like, it's so cool. The people are just so giving. They have so little, but they give so much. Um, they're also just a beautiful people. Like just, like there's sometimes where I was just like looking at them and I'm like, they're just so like, I don't know. It's, it's maybe it's their mixed race and their mixed cultures that just make them really beautiful. And they're very diverse as well. So you find a lot of people that look like they're just straight African and a lot of people that look like they're even European, like they have skin tone like me and blue eyes, but they're raised like anyone else. And it's just usually because they have, they're closer to the Portuguese side, like they have a parent or a grandparent that's from Portugal. And uh, the interesting thing is there are sort of classes and a lot of the time, um, the fairer you are, the more successful you tend to be. I don't know if that's because people treat you different or you act differently or you're just raised a different way, but that's something that's really interesting to get used to. And, uh, but the important thing is just to love everyone because everyone is just so beautiful and so nice. and. That's something I just really love about the culture is they they adopt you and and especially if you do your best to just relate with them, learn the language, learn the culture and appreciate like their families, then they'll totally reciprocate without exception. So I love and miss Cape Verdean food so much. Um, the funny thing is, you never would think this, but so the, the national dish is kashupa, but that's hardly the most common dish. You hardly ever find that like, you know, usually that's like if you're going to someone's house and like they're making it with their family because it's just a big dish. The most common dish in Cape Verde is grilled chicken, rice, and french fries. So, <laughs> and with the french fries, they give you ketchup and mayonnaise so you can make your own fry sauce. <laughs> It's just super funny. So like without exception, whatever island, wherever you go, there's always that plate, like the traditional plate of grilled chicken, french fries, and rice. And so get used to a lot of carbs, get used to a lot of bread. The bread, they always make it. There's no such thing as like day old bread. It's always made fresh. It's so, so good. There's like bakeries everywhere. Um, get used to a lot of bread and rice and beans and fish and chicken pretty much that constitutes like your whole life. <laughs> um, but it's so good. I love it. And a lot of fruit. The fruit is always just so beautiful and fresh. And yeah, I love that. There's a lot of really fun uh, little cookies they have there and stuff that I miss. And juice. I love the food. I like, there was no food that I didn't like. It was so good. <laughs> I felt really at home, actually. I wasn't in culture shock at all. Um, but I think that's also because I've lived overseas before in third world countries. And so, um, it just sort of seemed familiar. I'm like, oh, lots of cars, dogs in the streets. Like, I'm just like, hey, I'm home. <laughs> that's probably not normal for most people. But I'd say like, if there is culture shock, just like, remember, these people are just like you, you know, they have families, they have cares, they want to be, have peace. And then it helps you like open up and love them a lot more. For my very first area, I was sent to the furthest flung island in all of Cape Verde, and it's the, also the smallest island. So there's only 3,000 people on the island of Brava, and um, in the main little village city, there's only like a thousand people. And so I'd see the same people every day, and they call Brava the island of flowers. And it's just so lush and green. And at night, there's this mist that falls over the town. It's sort of eerie, but beautiful at the same time. And I think it was like the most amazing way to start my mission. Just the, the climate, the, 
the geography, the buildings, which are like, they look like Europe, but there's all these African people around you, you know, it's so cool. I love, I love the Cape Verdean culture so, so much. There was sort of just like this token drunk man on the island. He wasn't dangerous or anything. In fact, he was very friendly, um, almost too friendly sometimes. And so one time we were just walking across the street, my companion and I, and this, we see this guy coming toward us and we just think, you know, he's walking toward me and he's looking at me and I'm, I'm thinking he's probably going to veer off. <laughs> but as he gets closer, he just opens up his arms and just like gives me this huge bear hug. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I do. And my companion is four foot ten, like this tiny little blonde thing. And she's like, oh, no, you don't. <laughs> she, she like pulls him off of me. And he's just like, la, la, la. <laughs> It was the funniest thing. We were laughing about that for so long. And I'm just like, what just happened? <laughs> the people are always really friendly. They expect you to greet them in the streets. And so do so because a lot of people remember you if you, if you do or if you don't. Sometimes they're like, you never say hi to me in the street. And you're like, sorry, <laughs> you know? Wildlife is like non-existent. You'd think Africa, like, Oh, there must be like tigers or uh, actually lions. Um, no, like the most ferocious animal in Cape Verde is a dog. Like <laughs> they just have stray dogs. Um, the only animals there, they don't even have snakes. There are no snakes. It's crazy. Like there's no animal that can actually harm you. So like, don't be afraid. Yeah, they just have donkeys. They have they have cows, a lot of cows and dogs and cats. And the history, like I said, is, you know, the Portuguese came down. And so that, that's why they all speak Portuguese and have the, that Christian base. They're really family oriented and they love cooking. Like, I feel like for women that don't work, like half of their day is spent cooking. They, they, like they wake up, they cook breakfast and then they clean up breakfast and then they start cooking lunch and then they eat lunch and they they clean up lunch and the same with dinner. It's, it's wonderful. And a lot of their foods are just really, really good. There's the national dish is something called cachupa or cachupa. Um, it's like a, I don't know how to explain it. It's sort of like a stew, I guess, um, with anything you can throw anything into it basically. But the base is this special kind of corn that they just let simmer and soak for a really, really long time. So it's just really nice and chewy and really, really good. They make a lot of fish. So in terms of like professions, you can find a lot of fishermen, um, a lot of carpenters too. There's a lot of people that make really nice woodwork. Um, a lot of seamstresses. Yeah, um, a lot of um, like fruit vendors on the street, like everywhere. You can buy food off the street. You can buy any type of fruit. It's, it's just so fun. That was one of the things I miss most is just so many people on the street and you can just meet people all the time. So that also differs from island to island. It's super interesting. Everything from the climate to the crime to uh, commerce, everything. Um, so Brava, crime didn't even exist. Like I didn't even hear of one thing. I heard of like one fight that happened once and people were like oh, and everyone knew about it was like in an hour <laughs> it was crazy so brava just the safest area ever but if you go to like the big cities for instance the the capital city praia or san felipe in fogo or um san vicente in mindelo then you're gonna have some problems if you are worried about crime then don't bring your camera with you because it's it's common that things could get swiped or something. I don't know. Just be smart with your stuff. Don't, yeah, just be careful. I'm, I'm not a paranoid person, so I probably wasn't as careful as I could have been. Um, but I, I ended up being okay, so it was fine. <laughs> Our houses are really nice, actually. They always get really nice houses. There's no carpet. It's, it's always tile on the ground. Um, but one of my houses, the one I had in Mayo, actually had an air conditioner. <laughs> None of the other houses I'd been to had air conditioning. And uh, so that's something you have to live with. You have to get used to fans, especially in the summer. It gets super, super hot. I was like in the coldest area for winter and the hottest for summer. And luckily the hottest for summer was the house I had air conditioning. Otherwise I would have died. <laughs> um, Cause it's, it's hot and it's really humid because it's an island. 
But, you know, the funny thing is, it's not as humid as you might think. Um, cause it's sort of a desert climate because of the winds that come off of Africa. As I said, I started in Brava, which is the smallest island. It's the southern westernmost island. And then from there, I, um, went to Mayo, and that's the southern easternmost island. And from there, I went to Sol, which is the northern easternmost island. And Sol is, it's like the tourist attraction of, like, all of Cabo Verde um, because it has um, a city called Santa Maria which is like right on the beach and just like the most perfect white sandy beaches. Para meus amigos de Cabo Verde ou Brasil ou Portugal so tão feliz que eu posso falar com vocês eu tenho tantas saudades eu sei que um dia nós vamos nos encontrar de novo, seja nesta vida ou na próxima Estou animada por aquele dia. Sei que vai, vai ser bem alegrosa. Obrigada por seu amor.